What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on MLB The Show 18, continuing the Red Sox franchise. Um, I went ahead and simulated ahead because I wanted to... I don't want to have to do a quick manage for every single game, every single time, because it just takes too long um, to get through a season. So we're through game 11. We finished out Tampa Bay. My, no one cares about Miami. And then we finished out another series with Tampa Bay. And the first two games against the Yankees. So we're going to be playing Price versus Sabathia today. We'll take a look at the stats from the other games. So, unfortunately, this is all we can see is the box door. But uh, Mookie got it going in game two against the Rays. A 4-1 win. Uh, went four for five. Uh, other notables from the game. Bogarts went three for five. Teoscar Hernandez went two for four and got his average up to 625. Uh, Mookie homered. And had two doubles. Bogarts had two doubles. We had a bunch of doubles. Uh, Bogarts and Benintendi stole uh, bases. We'll take a look at our pitching. So David Price went six and uh, two thirds, gave up one earned, one walk, eight strikeouts, and four hits. Uh, Ramos came in to finish the seventh. I believe Price put on two. I'll take better notes next time because I thought they would have a a menu to look at just like how things went down and scores um, but Ramos came in with two on two outs and uh, recorded a strikeout Iglesias got the hold Kimbrel got the save next game was a 6-1 win against the Rays Mookie went two for four Bogarts went two for five uh, Ben and Tenney went 0 for four kind of interesting JD started hitting a little bit went two for five um, Devers went hitless um, J.D. Martin and Colton Wong got his first start of the year and went one for four with uh, with a solo shot. Um, so Colton Wong, uh, Eduardo Nunez, and J.D. Martinez homered. Mookie had a double, uh, and then he stole a base and got caught stealing. On the pitching side, Chris Archer got a win in his return to Tampa Bay. Went six innings, gave up one earned, struck out four. Not an amazing game. Uh, Joaquin Soria got his first action on Amir Garrett. Didn't close the game, but he went in in the ninth uh, for his first action of the season. Jacob Faria took the loss. On Sunday, we had an 11-3 win against the Rays. Mookie went 4 for 6 to get his average up to 550. Bogarts went 3 for 5 to get his to 473. Teoscar Hernandez, 2 for 5 to get his to 444. Uh, JD got a hit. Um, ben Intendi had a hit. Four for five for Jackie Bradley Jr. Moreland played. Um, Mookie completed the cycle. He had a home run, a triple, and a double, and then a single. Um, JD hit a grand slam. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else important happened, but Betts, Bogarts, Martinez, Teoscar Hernandez, Jackie Bradley, they all hit home runs. Bogarts also had two doubles, and Ben Intendi stole a base. Pitching that day was Stroman. He gave up two earned over six and a third innings, struck out nine, gave up seven hits. Uh, Iglesias came in early for the hold. Believe Stroman put two on. Uh, and then Carson Smith came in and gave up one earned in the eighth. And then Kimrel, um, uh, Caleb Smith stayed in for the ninth and gave up two base runners. So I put in Kimbrel. Um, and then on Monday in Miami, Mookie Betts went four for six. Uh, Bogarts went two for seven. Ben Intendi three for five. JD two for four. Three for five for Nunez. One for six for Jackie Bradley. Vasquez went three for four. And then uh, Tyson Ross got the start. All sorts of pinch hitters went around in that game. Mookie had a double. Uh, ben Intendi had a triple. Home runs for Ben Intendi, JD, and Nunez. Um, sack flies, Tyson Ross has a sack fly, Mookie Betts stole two bases, Bogarts won, Nunez won. Pitching that day was Tyson Ross, he went five innings, gave up one earned, five walks, four hits, and eight strikeouts. Uh, Hirano got his first action and gave up one earned run in one inning. Uh, I believe it was a solo shot to Derek Dietrich is what he gave up. Uh, Ramos came in for his second hold of the season, going one and two-thirds innings before Joaquin Soria came in for one. Uh, Amir Garrett then came in and closed out the game, 14-run game. Uh, in the next game, final game against Miami, Mookie Betts went 0 for 5, Bogarts went 3 for 5, 
Uh, Teoscar Hernandez batted up and hit four for five. JD, two for five. And then the rest of the team was kind of whatever. Uh, Bogarts hit a homer and JD went yard twice. Uh, Teoscar Hernandez had three doubles. Uh, Chris Sale pitched this game and gave up one earned over seven and two-thirds innings. Struck out nine, had six hits. Uh, Iglesias came in, I believe Sale put a man on base. And uh, Iglesias came in and cleaned that up. And then Hirano came in to kind of uh, lower his ERA off the one inning one earned. And uh, gave up two hits, but struck out one and uh, completed the uh, completed the game. Moving on to our Thursday game against Tampa Bay, a 7-2 to win. Uh, first game at home, Mookie went 3-4. for four. Raises average over 500. Bogarts 2-4. for four. Benintendi 2-4. for four. JD 2-3. for three. The rest of the team, Colton Wong once again stayed hot, hitting two for four. Uh, Betts had a double. Uh, Martinez had a home run. Betts and Bogart stole. Caught stealing Bogart's Ben and and Wong. We had three people get caught stealing. Pomeranz took his second loss to the Red Sox. Uh, David Price went uh, six and two thirds innings, um, gave up two earned, struck out ten. Uh, Smith came in uh, and worked two. Very good scoreless innings, gave up one hit, and then Iglesias came in. Um, I believe I believe I just put Iglesias in. I think Smith's uh, pitch count was getting high, so I just went ahead and put Iglesias in. Uh, I probably could have left... Yeah, I could have left Smith in, and he would have got the save, I think, but uh, I decided to put Iglesias in. And then Saturday, 4-1. to one. Finally, a Craig Kimbrell save opportunity. Mookie Betts went one for four with three RBIs. Bogarts one for three. Kind of a quiet game. Devers the best game at two for four. Uh, but Mookie did homer. It's a three-run homer. Um, Nunez had a triple. Uh, an error by Bogarts. Stolen base by Bogarts and Nunez. Jacob Faria took the loss. Archer went seven innings, gave up one earned, struck out four. Uh, Iglesias got the hold. Kimbrell got the save. Takes us to Sunday's game, a 4-0 win against the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Mookie Betts went 0 for 5. Uh, Bogarts 2 for 4. 1 for 3 for Benintendi. 1 for 3 for Martinez. Pretty much 1 for 3s and 1 for 4s for everybody. Teoscar Hernandez went 0 for 2. Jackie Bradley had the home only homer. Uh, Mookie, Bogarts, Benintendi, and Nunez all stole bases to beat Nate Eovaldi. Stroman went 7 strong, no earned, 4 hits, 4 walks, 5 strikeouts. And then Smith, Iglesias, and Kimbrell worked three solid inning or two solid innings of no earned run ball. Uh, did issue some walks, but didn't end up mattering. Tuesday started our series against the New York Yankees, uh, a seven to four win. Uh, I believe this was Severino versus Tyson Ross, and Severino we got to Severino for six earned. Um, Mookie went three for four. One for four for Bogarts, uh, two for four for Benintendi, two for three for JD, two for four for Devers. Uh, Mookie and JD homered. Uh, Betts had two doubles in the game. Um, I believe Aaron Judge went yard. Yeah, Judge took Tyson Ross yard. Uh, also hit a double off of Tyson Ross. Uh, but Tyson Ross gave up two earned. Amir Garrett gave up two earned. Um, and then Kimbrell earned the save, working. Uh, two-thirds of an inning just because I hadn't warmed him up so uh I, I wanted I wanted him to warm up so he picked up save number three and then Wednesday game before this one Yankees Red Sox this improved us to 11 and 0 the Yankees are three and nine I don't know how but they're three and nine uh nothing notable John Carlos Stanton stole a base that was interesting Stanton stole a base but Mookie went three for four it's about the only interesting thing two for three for Bogarts with a walk uh, and then, so, the home runs came from J.D. and Jackie Bradley. Betts with two doubles. Uh, Bogarts had two steals. Teoscar Hernandez stole base. Four earned for Masahiro. Three for Green. Uh, Sale went eight innings. Gave up three earned, but went eight innings. Um, gave up 11 hits. Struck out seven. Iglesias and Ramos combined to finish out the ninth inning. Uh, but they did hit Sale pretty well. Uh, Stanton went three for four and had two of the three RBIs. Also scored the run. Hicks drove him in. Uh, but Gardner, Gregorius, everybody pretty much got a hit except Gary Sanchez. 
uh, who struck out twice, and Greg Bird, who struck out twice. But it's time. David Price versus CC Sabathia. We're going to... Uh, we're going to be skipping the pitching, so David Price will continue and do his own thing at pitching. We'll just be doing the hitting today, and then we'll quick manage some of these Baltimore series games. So let's get into this against or against CC Sabathia. So this will be something I do from time to time: is just do one side of the game. We'll either pitch or we'll hit. Everybody looks all right. I think I'll let. Uh, I think I'm gonna give Mookie. I can't give Mookie unless I want to sit Jackie Bradley. Um, CC Sabathia is a lefty, right? Yeah, we'll sit Jackie Bradley. So sit Jackie Bradley for I all my all my bench guys are left-handed. Hmm. Oh, there's actually a trade that I wanted to make. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Before we start this game, I want to send Rysel Iglesias, Car or Hector Velasquez, and. Is it Oscar Hernandez? I think it's Oscar Hernandez. So Rysel Iglesias, Oscar Hernandez, and Hester Vel Hector Velasquez to the Mariners for Edwin Diaz. Uh, just going to make the upgrade. Save myself some cash, and we'll make this deal. Um, they get a relief pitcher, a catcher prospect, kind of. And uh, I could do this. This makes more sense. 22 years old, he's a little bit better. So we'll send the little bit better prospect. Um, Hector Velasquez and Rysel Iglesias for Edwin Diaz. Edwin Diaz in the final year of his deal, so we'll have to make a deal with him. But uh, they have two years of control of Rysel Iglesias. So, and Rysel Iglesias will go up and overall because he'll be the closer. So we're going to make this trade. Bring in Edwin Diaz. So Diaz, 89. He only wanted to be in the bullpen, so he's happy on our team as an 89 overall. Uh, pitching rotation. All right, he's good. Okay, we're good. So now we can get into the game. Totally forgot about that. I did also want to show, um, I picked up Trevor Rosenthal. Um, I was going to wait till this episode, but then I didn't want to simulate and have someone pick him up. So we just picked him up before I did the simulations. He's struggling a bit in the minors, but uh, we'll see. We're holding on for now. Um, the only other thing that I, should, I would like to do is bring in a right-handed bat. But I don't really have room on the roster. That's the issue. Is that we're kind of kind of stuck in terms of uh, in terms of space on the roster because we have five five starters, five relievers, five outfielders. I mean, we're already to twenty four, and we haven't gotten first, second, third, or short. Who only have a couple at a piece. It would have to be a trade for Brock Holt. We'd have to send Brock Holt somewhere for a right-handed bat. So, I mean, we can look at it real quick. So, Brock Holt. I'd have to get someone back with some sort of flexibility. Neil Walker would be interesting. They would do it straight up, Brock Holt, for Neil Walker. Gift Angopi is not actually that terrible in this game. He's a 71 overall. Hmm. That's actually really interesting that Gift is not actually that terrible. I mean, I could look at third baseman. Um, we could trade for Ronnie Rodriguez. He's only 25. I mean, it's not the worst trade. Um, could pick someone off of waivers. I mean, I could also trade for Jerickson Profar. It'd be a little pricey probably to get him, but it is possible. Uh, they would trade Jezmel Valentin. No, he's a right-hander. Um, there's just not a whole lot of options for halfway decent. I can't believe VR is an 83 in this game. Trade for Sogard, but he's kind of old. Uh, <laughs> um. If Utley, uh, we could trade for Utley. Utley's got to retire in real life, but we could trade for him here. I kind of want to trade for Utley, but it seems so dumb. 
Trade for Carlos Asuaje. Panda with... Oh, Panda is right-handed. Oh my gosh, I could trade for Panda. Panda's never going to start for them. Alright, I'll trade for Panda if you give me at least a somewhat halfway decent prospect. Julian Fernandez. Dustin Knight. DJ Smelton. Um, actually, there were some B potential guys here. Eh, I don't want any of those guys. Garrett Will- Oh, they'll give me Garrett Williams. How about Sean Anderson? Will you give me Sean Anderson? No, you won't. Andrew Suarez. Okay, give me... Give me Garrett Williams. Let me make sure Pop Panda... Panda can play first. I have Wong to fill in a second. Yeah, we got plenty of flexibility with uh, Eduardo Nunez, and, and Devers has a little flexibility. Bogarts has a little flexibility. Okay, we're good. We'll trade Panda, f Panda, or we'll play trade Garrett. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Brock Holt for Panda and Garrett Williams. I think this helps out both teams. We get a right-handed bat, um, and they get a guy who could play multiple positions for him. I know Alan Hansen. Will you give me Alan Hansen? If I get rid of Garrett Williams, hold on. What if I trade you? This makes more sense. As much as I like Panda, Alan Hansen makes way more sense. He's not as good of a hitter, but he just makes more sense. He's younger. I gotta remember which one of these. They'll actually take these guys. Okay, they'll take Logan Allen and Brian Mata, but that doesn't quite get it there. So if we trade him that, him, and Bra uh, just barely doesn't get it there. Uh, Jalen Beeks, Shane Bieber. They don't want. They don't want the Biebs. So they'll trade for Jalen Beeks. But then I gotta get something else. You gonna send me Panda? Oh my gosh, Panda's worth nothing. They'll send me Panda. I want Panda, but I don't have any room for him on my roster. I'd have to get rid of a reliever, which would probably be... It'd probably be Hirano or Soria, or I would just send Garrett down to the minors. Would probably be me sending Garrett down to the minors. I mean, I guess we could... So if I give him Jalen Beeks, will you give me like two prospects? Because he's pretty good. He's a pretty good prospect. So like shot. Can we just swap Andrew Sora or Tyler Tyler Beatty for Jalen Beeks? I feel like that's a fair trade. So Jalen Beeks is 24. Beatty is 24. Can I throw in Panda? No, I can't throw in Panda. I probably could throw in Panda if I just threw in the just some garbage down here. Like, the, okay, maybe not. You got to throw in a little bit of something. There, Conrad Gregor. If I included Conrad Gregor, we could get Pablo, but I don't really think Pablo... Like, I like Pablo, and I kind of want him on my team, but we have Alan. I guess I could send Alan Hansen down. He makes more sense for the team, but I could send him down. Could also send... Panda made the roster, right? I'm not going to do that to Panda. Panda, you can stay on the roster. Let me get rid of Conrad Gregor. Alright, let's do this trade. This took way too long to do this trade. Sounds like a good deal to us. We'll accept. And so... Let me just make sure Alan Hansen... Yeah, Alan Hansen is up. Alright, we're good. We're good. Let's do this. Oh, who is on... Is Tyler Beatty on their act? Oh, Tyler Beatty's. Go to AAA. Go to AAA, Beatty. There we go. Okay. We can finally start this. The only reason I kind of did that the way I did is because... Oh, Hanson is tired. Never mind, Hanson can't play. I'll play Colton Wong, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, we'll give Jackie Bradley the day off. Bradley doesn't need to play every day. So do that. Uh, JD, you could play right field, JD. 
And T. Oscar, you play center. D.H. Moogie. Could take Nunez out for a day. Let's take... Eh, he's a right-handed bat. We'll take Devers out for a day. And play Mitch. We'll give Mitch Moreland a go. Alright, I think we're good. So like I said, we're going to be doing the hitting. Um, we'll, uh, we'll let David Price pitch. We'll quick manage his pitching, but uh, we will let him do his pitching. And then... I'll get guys warmed up while I'm batting, but 11 and 0, what a start for the for the Red Sox. Trying to extend it to 12 and 0, start this year, gate or start the season out with four sweeps, sweeping the Rays in four, Marlins in two, Rays in three, and now trying to do the Yankees in three. 11 and 0, Boston Red Sox take on the three and nine New York Yankees from Fenway Park. JD Martinez warming up. Mookie Endeavors talking in the background. David Price takes the hill for his third start of 2018. Two starts, 2-0, 203 RA, 13 and a third innings pitch, 9 hits, .7 whip, 1 walk, 18 strikeouts for the left-hander. A pretty good start to 2018 for the whole entire Red Sox staff to get us to the 11-0 mark. Brett Gardner will lead it off, and we'll head to the quick manage. Price gets him down in order, and it's now Mookie Betts up to face off against CC Sabathia. First pitch of the game, and Betts will ground this one softly to the third baseman. Over to Greg Bird for out number one. Bogart's batting 441. Second in the ALL to Mookie Betts. He might be first after that ground out. And Bogarts will lift this one in the left field, and it is down for a base hit. A single for Xander Bogarts. Menintendi up now, lefty on lefty. Bogart's not looking to steal. And Menintendi will take a strike down the middle. Probably a hittable pitch, but looks at it. It makes the count 0-1. Bogart's will take a little bit of a leave. And he'll get picked off! Just a one-step lead for Bogart's, but he's unable to get back. It's two outs for the Red Sox. And a slider gets Benintendi out in front. Count falls to 0-2. Benintendi, 333 on the year. Hasn't had any big games, but uh, still hitting for 333. And Benintendi will sling through a slider for strike three. CC Sabathia gets to the first inning, gives up a single to Xander Bogarts, but then picks him off. And that brings up Giancarlo Stanton to face David Price. David Price gives up a single to Miguel Andujar, and Gliber Torres grounds out, bringing up J.D. Martinez. Nine homers, leads the American League, exactly a 1,000 slugging. C.C. Sabathia sets and deals, and J.D. swings through a fastball, strike one. The 0 1 pitch from CC Sabathia. And a cutter way inside for ball one. JD laid off of it, evens the count back up. And swings through a slider. Strike two. A low slider from CC Sabathia. And it's one and two. A low change up makes it a two and two count. And a sinker gets JD swinging. CC Sabathia's second strike out of the game. D 
Teoscar Hernandez batting 350 on the season has had a has uh, had his struggles against the Yankees so far. One for seven with two strikeouts, and he'll swing through a fastball for strike one. The 0-1 pitch from CC Sabathia. A sinker low, evens up the count at one and one. And this one by Tiasker is lined down the third baseline. Tiasker digging for second. Will he get there? He will slide. No, he will not get there. Tiasker Hernandez thrown out trying to take second. I thought for sure Tiasker would be in easily to second, but a great throw gets him at second. So nobody on two outs and a fastball that Nunez waves wildly at for no reason. The 0-1 pitch from CC Sabathia. This one fouled off and it's 0-2. Couple of base running errors for the Red Sox have cost them two runners. The aggressive base running has worked out early in the season, but has resulted in some caught stealings. Nunez fouls this one off. And then just trying to leg out the double, unable to beat the ball. And this one popped up by Nunez for out number three. CC Sabathia works unconventional 1-2-3 innings to start the game. David Price to face Aaron Hicks. And David Price has found himself in some trouble. Gets a fly out from Brett Gardner. Didi Gregorius grounds out and now second and third, two outs for Aaron Judge and Judge will ground out. Leading off for the Red Sox, third baseman, Aaron Moreland. Mitch Moreland sees the slider, swings at it for strike one. CC Sabathia looking pretty good early in this game, bottom of the third inning. And Moreland swings through a, sw a sinker. Just caught the outside corner. Kind of wish I knew if that would have been called a sh ball or strike. I thought it was a little bit farther over the plate. And this one is grounded foul. Fastball that was inside would have been a strike. Nice pitch by Sabathia. And this one, a changeup again. Right on the corner. I didn't want to take it looking, I'd rather just strike out swinging. Colton Wong batting 444. Try to extend his, uh, his good play. Takes a fastball. Unable to get it into play. It's 0-1. The 0-1 pitch from Sabathia. And this one set in the center field, and it will get down. Colton Wong is on base. His solid hitting to start the season continues as Colton Wong singles. Kirsten Vasquez is absolutely destroying Sandy Leone in the uh, in the batting average, and he'll swing it wildly at a fastball. Not a good decision by Vasquez. The 0-1 pitch. And this one popped up and out of play. Only 25 pitches to this point for CC Sabathia in the bottom of the third. And this one fouled off as well by Vasquez. one fouled off by <laughs> Vasquez. Colton Wong was probably safe on the steal there, but thought that was a hittable baseball. And a high fastball gets Vasquez chasing it, and he'll strike out after a bunch of fouls. Now 
Mookie Betts, 463 average on the season. And it will get by. Colton Wong going to dig for third. Mookie heading for second, and he'll get it. Mookie Betts with a double. Right down the third base line, Mookie Betts with his 12th double of the season. Colton Wong will take his lead. And Bogarts fouls this one off. Oh, 1 to Xander Bogarts. Man on second and third. Can he do it? Judge couldn't. Not this time. Fouls it off again into the seats. CC Sabathia has him right where he wants him. 0 2. And he gets hit by the pitch. CC Sabathia hits Xander Bogarts. Right off the top of his shoe. And he loads the bases for Andrew Benintendi. Struck out in the first inning. Oh, and Benintendi misses a meatball down the middle. Unable, unable to take advantage of the bad pitch. An absolute meatball for Benintendi, and he fouls it off. Sabathia, the old one pitch. And this one, a slider that's pretty good slider from Sabathia. It got me to chase. But he takes their leads. And Benintendi, a high fly ball. And it will be foul. Oh, Benintendi almost with the grand slam off of CC Sabathia. And this one fouled off. Another okay pitch to hit. Just a little early on the swing. The 0-2 to Benintendi. And this one, another well-hit foul ball. Bases still loaded. Still two strikes. Oh, and he'll take it looking. Thought it was low and bases loaded. Gets out of the jam for CC Sabathia. A walk to Stanton. Ground out to Sanchez and a double play gets him out of the inning. JD up now. Leading up the fourth for the Red Sox. Right fielder, JD Martinez. And JD will swing at a change up and miss it. Sabathio still working pretty efficiently. 39 pitches. And JD swings through a sinker. The 0 2 pitch to JD Martinez. And this is swung on, and JD will strike out on three pitches. Sanchez to Bird for out number one. Now batting, center fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez steps into the box now. And swings through a fastball for strike one. And this one is sent into left field. Tiasca Hernandez on base. Two singles in the game. Now Eduardo Nunez. It's Eduardo Nunez up now. And Nunez fouls off a slider. Looking for the home run there for Eduardo Nunez. And this one, a high pop-up from Eduardo Nunez. Just got under the ball. Out number two. Well, first base, number 18, Mitch Moreland. 
Mitch Moreland up now. Yasker Hernandez will take a little bit of a lead. Throw over by CeCe Sabathia. Another throw over by Sabathia. I guess I'll just I, just, I won't take a lead this time, Sabathia. Does that make you happy? And Moreland gonna ground this one to Greg Bird for out number three. Gliber Torres up to face David Price. He'll ground out. Hicks singles. Bird strikes out. And Gardner flies out. Colton Long with a single in the game. Leading off for the Red Sox. Second baseman, Colton Wong. And Colton Wong going to lift a fly ball. Is it going to get down? It does. So just a strike on Wong. The 0-1 pitch from CC Sabathia. And he'll lay off the fastball for ball number one. Probably could have got down there and hit it, but looked like he was down. But I held up. And Wong, another foul ball. The one-two pitch to Colton Wong. And this one fouled off as well. Colton Wong really seeing the ball well. The one-two pitch. And this one, a slider swung through and missed, and Wong will strike out. Vazquez up now. And this one he'll top off for a foul ball. Was just in the zone. This one will go foul as well. Sinker that just catches the bottom part of the zone. Now the 0-2 pitch to Vazquez. And this one is fouled off. A well hit foul. And this one fouled off as well. A bad decision to swing, but doesn't pay the price for it. 0 2 to Christian Vasquez. And this one fouled off as well. A battle going on here between Christian Vasquez and CC Sabathia. Ball low, and it's two and two. Vasquez, or one and two. Vasquez able to hold off. And this one fouled off again. Vasquez working quite the at bat here. And he'll foul it off again. A 1-2 pitch from CC Sabathia. And this one fouled off once again. A 9 pitch at bat. The 10th pitch of the at bat. And this one <laughs> fouled off again by Christian Vasquez. The 11th pitch of the at bat coming here. And this one's going to be lifted in the center field, er, shallow center field, and caught by D.D. Gregorius. Now batting, designated hitter, Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts up now. Nobody on, two outs. And we'll swing through a cutter for strike one. Pretty good cutter by C.C. Sabathia there. And Mookie will swing through a changeup. That looked way higher to me. I don't know why it looked really high to me. It looked like it was like 
like medium low zone. And a fastball gets Mookie swinging and he'll strike out on three pitches. Pitch around Stanton. The ground out. Now we just got to get Mel. Oh, we we couldn't get Miguel and Duhar out. David Price couldn't get Ann Duhar out, so Yankees take the lead two to nothing. And Bogarts will foul this one off. The 0-1 to Xander Bogarts. And he'll pop this one up to Greg Bird for out number one. Now batting. Benintendi struck out the last time up after barely missing a grand slam. And this time he will lightly ground out. Came close to beating it out, but unable to do it. J.D. Martinez, two strikeouts on the day as well. And he'll top this one off. JD can make this a one run game with one swing of the bat. Fastball low, ball one. Two outs, JD pretty much has the green light to swing for power at anything he wants. And that was one of them, but the change up low just misses him. One and two to JD Martinez. And this one grounded. And Duhar, Greg Bird, out number three. I gotta look and see what David Price's stamina is looking like. Eh. We'll get some people warming up. Get Carson Smith and Edwin Diaz work warming up. Strikes out Hicks. Single to Bird. Brett Gardner, double play. Good work, David Price. Leading off for the Red Sox. Center fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez up now. 2-0 game. And Teoscar will ground this one. And Duhar, Greg Bird, out number one. Now batter, third baseman, Eduardo Duyez. Eduardo Nunez up now. One out, nobody on. And Nunez down the line. And Nunez will hold it first. Thought about trying to leg it out for second, but I don't think he would have beat it. A ball low, and Nunez will take second. Get out of the double play potential. And it was a ball anyway, so it works out even better. And a foul ball by Mitch Moreland evens up the count. Moreland one swing away from tying this game up, and it's a slider that carries way outside, and Moreland... Picks up strike number two. The one-two pitch. Nunez trying to take it, and he does not! Oh, a great play by Gary Sanchez gets Nunez. The two-two pitch from CC Sabathia. And this one, oh, gets past Greg Bird. Would have scored Nunez. But Nunez got caught. Now Second baseman, Colton, Wong. Colton Wong up now. Araldis Chapman is up in the pen. Sinker inside, ball one. 
Chapman and and Shrev are up in the pen. Colton Wong takes another sinker inside. 2-0. Colton Wong takes a fastball inside and it's 3-0. Vasquez on deck. And Colton Wong, can it get down? It will. Two on, two outs. Colton Wong gets a single into... Colton Wong gets a single and brings up Christian Vasquez. Can Christian Vasquez deliver? And Vasquez fouls off a sinker. Oh, and a sinker outside. Thought it was coming back in. Never did. 0-2 quickly to Vasquez. High fastball, ball one. CC Sabathia. Pitch count up to 86 pitches now. And this one, will it get down? It will! They'll hold up. Everybody will hold up. Moreland without the speed. And it brings up Mookie Betts. Bases loaded. Mookie Betts 1 for 3 with a double in this game. And it is bases loaded for the Red Sox best player. CC Sabathia deals. And Betts gets a fastball. And fouls it off. A well-hit ball from Mookie Betts, but just goes foul. And it's a slider that you're... Colton Wong, what are you doing? Get back on your base. It's a change-up that Mookie misread, and it's 0-2. Fastball outside, 1-2. Making CC Sabathia work here. 90 pitches. 2-0 game. Bases loaded. And Mookie a high fly ball! And this one is gone! Mookie bets a grand slam! And the Red Sox take the lead 4-2. His fifth homer of the season. And Mookie bets hits a grand slam off of CC Sabathia with two outs in the bottom of the seventh. The Red Sox get all four base runners in the bottom of the seventh. First it was first it was Moreland and then it was Colton Wong and then it was Vasquez. Two of those singles were dropped in and the other was a missed catch by Bird that kind of squeaked by him and then Mookie Betts makes him pay. CC Sabathia gives up the grand slam after pitching such a beautiful game. Escaped another bases loaded jam and came one strike away from escaping this one. All in all, a pretty good game for CC Sabathia. A couple lucky hits. Now pitching for New York, number 68, Dellen Batansis. Dellen Batansis into the game. But yeah, pretty much a couple of lucky hits by us. The first bases loaded was not lucky, but this one was lucky. Nice fastball by Dallin Batances. But yeah, it was, it was, I'll give it, two of those were dropped in, those were luck, and then the one that snuck by Bird, that was all luck. Fouled off by Bogarts, it's 0-2. And Xander will foul this one off to stay alive. Batance is the 0-2 pitch. And a cutter will be swung through and missed by Bogarts. Doesn't truly matter. 
Mookie Betts delivers the grand slam. The Red Sox take the lead 4-2 in the bottom of the 7th. We'll open up the door for Kimbrel to get a save. D.D. Gregorius now up. But it's time to pull David Price after 7 innings to put in Edwin Diaz. So Edwin Diaz, we'll pitch with him because it's his first game. But Edwin Diaz gets his first chance in a Red Sox uniform. Facing D.D. Gregorius and he'll get a strike in there. Two seam fastball, 98 miles per hour. Edwin Diaz gives up his closer roll to come to the Red Sox. Quickly ahead 0-2 and, and this one grounded softly. Oh, Colton, Colton. Oh my gosh. Col Colton Wong with an error. Judge DHing today and Judge to face Edwin Diaz. Diaz a fastball in there, strike one. To the four, MC, four seam fastball he goes and this one fouled off by Judge. Same pitch combination that he pitched to DD. Will it have a different result? It will. Aaron Judge strikes out on a slider. Now right fielder, John Stanton. Stanton looks at a fastball for strike one. Stanton issued two walks in this game by David Price. And this one grounded. And they'll settle for one out. I kind of was going to throw it, and then I decided we didn't really have a chance at the out, so. Catcher Gary Sanchez up. He'll look at a fastball. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, crap. Well, that's that's what I wanted. I didn't know where I had that placement. I didn't want to throw him a wild meatball down the middle. So I much prefer what I did there. Fastball outside. Two and one. Swung through and missed by Sanchez. Even count back up at two and two. Try to bait him with a little fastball outside the zone. Won't get him. Full count to Gary Sanchez. Miguel and Duhar on deck. Edwin Diaz gets him swinging for out number three. After a single was given up on an error, or not a single, but a, a base runner was given up on an error. Fine work by Edwin Diaz getting a ground out and two strikeouts. Leading off for the Red Sox, left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. 4-2 and Benintendi up. And Benintendi will not, I thought, wow, that was like weird depth perception. I thought that snuck through the hole. Benintendi out. JD Martinez up now. 0 for 3 on the day. Looking for a fastball. It's a slurve, and he'll swing through it. Swung the bat a little bit too early. And it's a cutter way outside from Batanzas. Not a good day for JD. Some odd looking swings. Lots of strikeouts. And it's a fastball. And JD will strike out for the third time in the game. Just not a good game from JD. Now Teoscar Hernandez up now, looking for the fastball. And he'll go first pitch swinging at a slurve. The 0-1 pitch to Teoscar Hernandez. And he'll swing through another slurve. That one well in the strike zone. Would have been a strike anyway. The 0-2 pitch. And this one, a high fly ball, but it will stay 
way far into the park for out number three. Red Sox go down in order in the bottom of the eighth, and that takes us to the top of the ninth here in Boston at Fenway Park. The Yankees will try to f get a rally going against Craig Kimbrell. But to start it out, Edwin Diaz will stay in the game for one more out. And this one grounded. Wong fields this one over to first base, out number one. So Kimbrell will only work a two save out here, or a two out save. So to the bullpen we go for Craig Kimbrell. Your attention please. Now pitching for the Red Sox, number 46, Craig Kimbrell. Kimbrell yet to give up a run. Gets the easier part of the order. No Judge, no Stanton, no Gary Sanchez, no Didi Gregorius. Go to the knuckle curve. And he'll get him swinging. Craig Kimbrell strikes him out. Three pitches. One, two, three. And it's Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks with two singles on the day. And this one... To Mitch Moreland for out number three. Kimbrell works very efficiently. Four pitches to get the two outs, and he'll earn himself the save. Diaz, a great debut. David Price gets the win. Mookie Betts gets David Price that W on the grand slam. The only runs for the Red Sox came on one hit by Mookie Betts, and it's a grand slam. Great game by the team. Uh... Had some, had some hits, two for four for Mookie, one for three for Bogarts, got hit by pitch, 0 for four for Benintendi and Martinez, but everybody else got a hit, two for four for Hernandez, two for three for Wong, one for three for all of Nunez, Moreland, and Vasquez, double by Mookie, home run by Mookie, four RBIs by Mookie, hit by pitch Bogarts, error on Wong, a steal for Nunez. Wild pitch by Edwin Diaz, but seven innings for Price. Proves the 3-0. Two earned, five hits, four walks, three strikeouts. Uh, Edwin Diaz goes one and a third, gives up two, or gives or strikes out two, no hits, no walks, and then Kimbrell goes two thirds of an inning, gets the save, is fourth, and strikes out one. So a good game all in all. CeCe Sabathia takes the loss, but nothing against CeCe Sabathia. He pitched a great game up till the Mookie Betts grand slam. Had a shot to get out of it, but just couldn't do it. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. We will go ahead and quick manage in the next episode. We'll go through and quick manage a bunch of games. Uh, and then I don't know if I'll play another one or if we will... Um, um, or if we'll sim a few more before we play. But we will do some quick managing in the next episode. That'll probably be when we lose. Um, but maybe not. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all then. Peace out.